Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves and today I'm starting a new project pan for my channel. This is the 12 pans of Christmas project pan and I remember a couple years ago doing this project pan with a huge collab with a whole bunch of project panners. So it is around that time again and I wanted to to this project pan again this year. So if you're interested in that huge collab, I can put my intro or link it up in the cards up above for you who are interested in back in the day this project pan. Maybe three years ago this project pan happened. So a lot of fun YouTubers too on that who did it. So I am, like I said, doing it again this year. I have some makeup, skincare, fragrance, hair care, things like that. Kind of a big array of products. For me, I'm doing 12 products and I'm going to actually try and use all of these specific products up. Now, it is a little over a month before Christmas actually is here. So some of these will be easier products than others, but I do plan on updating you guys at least once throughout this month. And then I'll give you guys kind of a finale wrap up of how I do with these products during this month leading up to Christmas. So. Let's get into it. The first item is the Essence Mosaic Blush and all you need is pink. And you guys know I have been working on this blush for pretty much the whole entire year and I am so close to using this up now. There's just the rim left. It is what is on my cheeks today and I definitely want to make this a goal for this project or to at least finish it by the end of the new year. But in this project specifically, I think I can do it before Christmas time. I just need to kind of stay dedicated towards it, not play with any other new blushes in my collection and work on this. I still really Really love it. it still looks really pretty on the cheek so that is product number one to use up a blush number two is what is on my lips now this was in one of my last project pans I can link the finale up above for those interested this is the nude sticks lip and cheek pencil and kiss like I said it is on my lips right now I really love this product in particular for underneath face masks so whenever I'm going out on like a dinner date what have you I like to put this under so then when I take my face mask off it's not like lip gloss or anything like that or certain lipsticks that'll kind of smear and smudge this does a good job on staying on my lips so I did pick up another shade but I do want to kind of finish up this shade right now and this is in the shade kiss the next product is an eyeshadow primer and this is the Milani eyeshadow primer in nude and I'm really surprised I haven't used this up yet. I have a backup guy now of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance I'm going to use and then I also want to pick up the NYX Glitter Glue. A lot of y'all told me to try that eyeshadow primer for kind of my chunkier eyeshadows so I want to give that a go too. So I want to make sure to finish up this eye primer before I start playing with those so that is why this one is in this project and I think I should be able to do it. What do you guys think? Now I was kind of wanting my next product to be my Urban Decay Naked Skin but I think that's too much product for a month's use so I pulled out this guy. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation shade I have this Y245 and this has kind of been in my drawer for a while so it's a about right here about halfway done and I think I can try and work on this use it up and get it out of my collection I believe the shade fits me I'm not even sure anymore I'll have to play with this more but I figured pulling out one of my little deluxe samples and trying to get good use of it for this month would be a good idea so I'll keep you guys updated on this the next thing kind of is a gimme but this is the essence bye bye panda eyes and why I picked this out is it is one of the mascaras that it I have been using for a couple months now so it's getting towards the end of its length time wise as well as use up wise. I've now been playing too with the new Charlotte Tilbury mascara that I got from the Pillow Talk collection. If you haven't seen that video I will link it up in the cards. But I've been playing with that but I want to make sure to get my good use out of this so I wanted to add this into this project to make sure to continue to work on this and use it up. The next thing is a fragrance and I was going to throw this in and this is my YSL Mon Paris but that would be another kind of gimme item because I'm really just down to that nubbin like right here. Like just a fingernail so I'm going to be able to finish that up probably in the next week but I found this also in my fragrance store and this is the Atelier, Atelier Cologne Clementine California. I'm a little less than halfway done with this fragrance 
So I do want to try and use this baby up. And orange is a nice scent for the winter time in my opinion. So excited to work on that. This next product you saw in a last project pan, but I think I can finish it now that it's getting colder. This is the Human and Kind Body Souffle. I draw a new line and I am currently right there at that baby line. So hopefully I can use this baby up and continue to use a lotion more. I almost put in that hand cream, but I didn't. So just this lotion from that project. And then I wanted to work on exfoliating my skin more. So this is the Ole Henriksen Transforming Walnut Scrub. And I have been using this recently and have been enjoying it. So I did draw a line on where I'm at and hopefully can make sure to exfoliate my skin a little bit more this month. So we'll be working on this guy. And then I wanted to add the night cream, the little deluxe guy I've been working on. This is the Basha Cactus Water Hydrating Cream. And this is perfect. It's a gel moisturizer. Great for the winter time and dry skin. So I have not too much left of this. So I wanted to throw this in to make sure, again, to be mindful to use it. This next product I got from a Target Beauty Box, which they don't, I believe, make them anymore. If you're interested in my unboxing of it, I will link it up in the cards. But this is the Waterless Dry Conditioner Weightless Smooth. And I don't know how much I have left of this, but this is a very unique product where you can, or how I like to do it, is just kind of apply it in my hair after I heat curl it or when you're out in a humid area, and it helps kind of tame down those frizzies. Smells pretty good too, so kind of not too bad for like using a lot of it because it'll like help odorize, deodorize your hair, I guess. But it smells really good. I thought this would be nice, especially when we get more into the winter months, drier months. I use it a lot more heat products, things like that. Your hair may frizz a little bit more. So this is a really nice product to have on hand and I wanted to keep using it and maybe potentially use it up this month. Next thing is another hair product. I think I have a backup of this too. So I want to try and make sure I'm using the older bottle and use this up first. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And this is my favorite dry shampoo. It is a little bit more pricey. It is on the higher end, but it doesn't leave any white spots in my hair. It cleans it up. I really like the scent of this. I switched over from Batiste to this and I'm not looking back so really like this stuff and I'm gonna try and use up my bottle before I reach and pull my new one so I am gonna be adding this to the project and then this last thing is a different product for me so I'm actually not a bath girl I'm definitely a shower girl get it over and done with kind of person but I have bath bombs that have been chilling and hopefully I can take some baths so I have already used one of these up there's a birthday cake bath bomb chocolate mint bath bomb and a creamsicle and I'm not sure what all what two I have left but these are definitely starting to get a little old there's two in here so I just need to take two baths and then I can get this out from underneath my bathroom sink. A lot of times, especially towards the end of the year, I try and pull out products that have been in like underneath my bathroom cabinets, stocked away, like especially skincare, hair kind of care kind of stuff. Try and pull those out to try and use and see if you like me. If you don't like them, declutter them. Or if you like them, try and use them up because that kind of stuff does go bad. And I feel like a lot of people, when they do project pans or think about when things go bad, they think more makeup wise and then skincare, hair care, that kind of stuff goes bad faster. So that's why I kind of wanted to concentrate on those type of items a little bit more in this project to kind of get good use out of it or declutter them. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated with how these products go, what products I can use up, my feelings on them coming towards Christmas time. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. But thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go out to